If you've ever had an infection in your mouth, either a broken tooth or an abscess or anything like that, you know how incredibly painful that can be. You also know how important it is to go to a dentist as quickly as you can to get that fixed and to get the infection treated. You want to get rid of the pain, you want to be able to eat and drink properly. But there's another reason. A dental infection, like any kind of infection, can cause a serious complication called sepsis. Sepsis is your body's overwhelming and toxic reaction to an infection. It can be caused by an infected bug bite, pneumonia, and yes, even a dental infection. Hi, I'm Marika. I work with Sepsis Alliance to help spread sepsis education and sepsis awareness among the general public and healthcare professionals. So for a few minutes, I'm going to speak to you about dental care and why it's important that you get all dental infections taken care of as quickly as possible. If you suspect you have a dental infection, as I said, you need to see the dentist as quickly as possible. If you can't get an immediate appointment though, ask your dental office what you can do to help yourself while you're waiting. Dental infections can also occur after you've had dental treatment, even uh, just a cleaning and a scaling. Many of us, when we have our teeth cleaned, might bleed a little bit, and every time there's an opening anywhere in, in your body, in your gums, your skin, you can introduce bacteria which can cause an infection. Dental hygienists and dentists do their best. They work under sterile procedures. They do their best to try to prevent infection, but unfortunately, sometimes they do happen. If after you've had dental work, you suspect you have an infection, again, it's important to get back to your dentist and say exactly what the problem is. So what are the signs and symptoms of a dental infection, either one that occurred because you have an abscess or a broken tooth, or one that may have occurred after dental care? Uh, increased pain is the obvious one. Swelling of the gums, swelling in your cheek and around the area. Increased pain, fever, uh, increased sensitivity. Uh, you may even start getting swelling in your glands if the infection has, has progressed. So watch for those signs and symptoms and again contact your dentist if you think you have an infection. Now, because any kind of infection, including dental infections, can lead to sepsis, it's important to also watch for signs and symptoms of sepsis. And what are they? Sepsis Alliance came up with a memory aid called TIME. It's about time. So T is for temperature. Is your temperature higher than normal or lower than normal? Usually it's higher if you have an infection, but for some people it is lower. I is for infection. Obviously, you have a problem in your mouth. M is for a change in mental status. Are you sleepier than usual? Are you lethargic? Are you becoming confused? Do you just want to go to bed and not get back up again until you've slept this off? Is there any changes in your behavior? That's the M for mental. And E is for extreme. People who have survived severe sepsis and septic shock often say that they had the most extreme pain they ever had in their lives, the most extreme discomfort they ever had in their lives. They are short of breath, they just feel generally awful. If you have two or more of these symptoms, it's important that you go to your emergency room and you call 911 or you get someone to bring you and you tell the staff, I am concerned about sepsis and this is why. Explain that you had a dental infection and these are your symptoms. By saying the word sepsis, you put that into their way of thinking if they have not already come up with that. Good dental health is important to our overall health. And the best way to prevent dental infections is by taking good care of our teeth. This means seeing your dentist regularly, getting your dental hygienist to clean your teeth, usually recommended twice a year, but different people have different needs. And of course, the regular oral health, brushing your teeth, flossing your teeth, not using your teeth to break things open, um, and think, you know, just overall taking good care of your mouth. Sepsis is a serious situation. Not everybody who gets a dental infection will get sepsis. The problem is some people do. If you would like to learn more about sepsis, either in relation to dental health or any other condition, please visit sepsis.org where you will find a library full of information on how sepsis affects us and how to prevent it. Thank you.